AI is quickly becoming an important part of our lives. It helps us work faster and more efficiently, enhances our creativity, and now, with Creality Print 5.1, it's simplifying infill and saving you time and money. Now let's say you wanted to print a large 3D model like this skull. You don't want to use too much infill, as this will waste filament and increase print time, but you also don't want to use too little, as this makes your overhangs too large and can impact your overall print quality. This is where AI infill comes in. With Creality Print 5.1 open, enable the advanced settings, search AI, and tick the button. Now this feature will only work with around 15% infill and above, as anything under this will not activate the AI feature. Once you've turned it on, slice the model, and you'll see how it automatically adds extra infill to areas that need more support, and only uses the minimum infill needed in order to get a nice, strong, good looking print. Now I printed out two of these skulls, one using regular infill and the other using AI. So here are the results. This skull took me 23 hours to print, used 435 grams of filament and cost me $8.71. This one took 20 hours, used 380 grams of filament and cost me $7.62. So by using AI infill, I saved myself about three hours of print time and about a dollar or so of filament. Now this may not seem like a lot for one print, but when it's stretched out over the course of a thousand prints, then it starts to add up. Now you're probably thinking, well, because you're printing it quicker and cheaper, then there's gonna be a trade-off somewhere, right? Well, fortunately with AI, there isn't one. You'll see from the two models that I have here, the model with the regular infill actually didn't print the overhangs as well, and the top layer had a few holes in it. And when we move across to the skull that was printed with AI infill, the overhangs look way better, the top finish looks perfect, and it just looks great overall. It is noticeably a little bit lighter as well, which could be good or bad depending on what you're gonna be using it for. But these are used just to hold hats or berets or any type of headwear. And for this specific use case scenario, even if it's a bit lighter, that's okay. So at the moment, Creality Print is ahead of the game, making things more efficient, making things cheaper and making the 3D printer experience much easier. So thanks for watching. Hope this video has helped and I'll see you in the next one.